Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for taking the time out to be able to work on you, finding that what is suiting you, what, what faucets you're shedding so you can be able to carry on to the next level so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you are comfortable enough i would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you just up telling me about your impact and gift and how it impacted your life and hitting you toward the positive direction also if you feel like the video is you know gave you good vibes or good information we would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath that are really going through some trying times right now and need confirmation and validation for their life purpose or even their life path please go ahead and share it while you're at it. Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, I'm listening to uh, the meditation music. It's native, mu na native music, 432 hertz, positive healing, meditation, endorphin release energy cleanse and miracle tones and i will place that link in the description box below and the video that i'm um, doing right now is twin flame 101 heyoka is focusing on parting ways with irrelevant distractions yes like right now you know for like for the last month or two maybe even three um like I told y'all, but I think I just told y'all about this like about a month and a half ago, probably two months. I don't know. It's been a while. We've been going through so many shifts. Like we've been dealing with the, uh, let me turn this down a little bit. Uh, we've been dealing with the, the, the equinox, the spring equinox, um, Mercury retrograde. And we just had the crescent moon. And then we were dealing with the, I forgot what that new moon did just pass. We've been dealing with so many different shifts that, you know, we're going in different stages of shedding faucets, um, breaking away from things. And it's just like, you know, Mother Earth, Creator, Universe, God, Source, anything that's, you know, powers that be, um, has been having us look at things in a totally different light. Um, being able to be on this path, we have to learn what is our distractions, what is keeping us from becoming who we are, living in our truth, being authentic towards yourself and as well as others. You know, distractions. I was just like this earlier today. I only got one thing that made me mad today and I set off, you know, and my daughter, me and my daughter were talking, my middle me, my middle mini me. And she was like, mom, let's not talk about nothing negative. And it was just like, she called me right when I was going through something. And it was like, oh, I'm just so aggravated and this and this and that. But she was also right. That wasn't a distraction. When you know you have blessings coming along, if you're not dealing with a narcissist or somebody negative, or you're dealing with miserable ass people, you know, it tends sometimes, you know, if you already got something going on, it's like a domino effect. And it was just like once I put my, my meditation music on, I said, you know what? I feel so much better. I got to call my baby and apologize to her because I didn't want to dump that out on her and she was already sick. But it was like, when you can finally step back, you know, I had to ask the universe and, you know, please forgive me for judging. You know, um, I shouldn't be doing that. You know, there's times things have happened and I, you know, some things happen the way they happen and you have to let the chips fall. But when you know you're on a mission of elevating yourself, ascending towards that next level that you truly are desperately trying to get to, you know, we have to be able to let go of distractions. You know, there's people that will place drama in your life just to distract you because they can't see their dreams coming or they're hating on you, you know, because they see you doing things. Like I've told y'all in the past, I've had people come into my life, even people from my YouTube channel that was intimidated by the things I do because it's just like I kept on always hearing from different people. You are so strong. You you can deal with so much and you bounce back. I mean, sure. I mean, you if you are determined, it's all about what you are willing to deal with, what are you willing to sacrifice and where you're heading towards. You know, I, I mean, holding on to things I tell one of my one-on-ones today, you know, nobody can do what you don't allow. 
if you know you you have to keep telling yourself every day even though you're going through hell like you know i'm thinking about my mom mother's day you know my biological mother i don't talk to her you know my mom that i love dearly is passed on she's just with me with spirit on top of my dad you know because it's just like my birthday my mom's birthday is it my biological mom's birthday is you know towards the end of the month and you know, dealing with Mother's Day, not having the biological mom and, the, you know, the adopted mom is not in your life. That's a lot to deal with. But I know everything happens for a reason. You know, I can't keep focusing on that. You know, I said I try to be in my mom's life. If she don't want to be in mine, I can't force that woman to deal with me. You know, maybe there are certain things that I don't understand was probably too painful for her to be facing right now. So I have to be able to take that in consideration because I don't know what's been said to my mom. I said, I to tell myself, you know, you never know if them folks up the street, you know, the family you used to deal with probably intervene and talk to her to block you from you talking to your mom, which is a messed up situation. But, you know, hey, it is what it is that I can't stop my flow from going because I'm trying to head towards something. Everything happens for a reason. Maybe it wasn't meant for me to deal with my mom. Maybe it's meant for me to deal with her later on. But that cannot stop me from ascending where I need to go. That's not going to allow myself to stop from going to the next level. And I have to tell people, if you are strong, you, it, I mean, when you only have strength and strength enough alone to live off of that, I mean, it gets tired. And I've, I've, people have caught me crying because I'm so mentally and emotionally tired, you know, trying to see things, po positive things coming towards me, being able to hope things get better for me, even though, you know, I'm dealing with certain people that I'm cutting out my life just to get by, you know. I have to be focused on me if it's not you know it's not elevating me bringing anything towards my table on a mental spiritual or even financial growth i can't be messing with you <laughs> i cannot you know if we're all together and we're supporting each other that's fine you know if you're trying to sit up here and bring you know a uh, positive flow towards you towards me or towards yourself and you have to think about that too for yourself as well you know you're heading towards bigger and better things you've been getting the signs left and right if you're not seeing the numbers you're probably seeing it you know you're probably thinking one thing and next thing you know you see it on social media somebody's posting it like my girl brenda me and her elevate i mean not elevate well elevating we're ascending but we are aligned you know and i do that with my soul sister too and those are the two closest ones i got right now um, that I talk to on a daily basis and we're all we're all resonating on certain things it's like I could talk about something she might not even seen the video and she's already posting something I was just thinking about and I was just like you know that's confirmation to let me know I'm on the right track there you know my blessings are echo echoing towards me because you know if you're praying on something you're working hard towards towards it the universe is going to have that echo towards you it might not come directly to you but it's allowing you to see it in the path where the wheels are turning for you to be able to get that you know, you have to be so focused on you. That's why I said I'm going to say what I got to say, but I know there are certain things I can't talk about. But I'm focused on me, on my glow up. I ain't got time to be sitting up here waiting, you know, for somebody to just try to bounce off and say, oh, I hope she doesn't get that. You know, like I tell people, you, you never should ever do that. No matter how much you hate somebody or no, no matter how much you don't want that blessing for them. If you know you aiming towards things that you want in your life, you can't sit up here and be knocking somebody else for theirs. As soon as you look at their, you know, their journey and you say you don't want that for them. Now, what makes you think, OK, God is going to do that for you. But what makes you think you're going to be good enough to get your blessing since you didn't want that person having theirs? That's why I said you know, if I see somebody getting something and I see those are the things that I want, I'm going to bless them. I'm like, hey, I'm happy for you. Congratulations. And not being fake and phony about it either. Be really happy for them. Even regardless of the most evil ass person, because trust and believe whatever they put out, they're going to get that back. They're going to get it back. It might not be the way you expect them to, but trust me, it's going to come back in a, some kind of shape, way, or fashion. You know, that's why you just have to sit back and observe why you're doing your own stuff. Elevate yourself around you. and Elevate, send that elevating vibe towards people. Because whatever you put out, you, you're going to get it back. You know, there's times I've said it. Y'all probably heard me say it sometimes, you know, what you push out there is what you get back. Because there's times, you know, I pushed out a lot of love and you know try to give people uplifting and encouraging you know advice and then it'll be things that'll come back at me i'm like god i didn't deserve that okay but you have to be able to you know universal sends something towards you they don't see it as being you know bad karma or bad vibes or anything that is that they're just sending that out 
is up to you to determine, you know, because maybe that was a blessing in disguise that you seen what you had to see when it comes to certain people. You know, they're, like I said before, there's so many people I done cut out my life and I'm just like, you know what, hey, I did my part. You know, I was okay with my stuff. You know, if you want to disrespect me and go over my boundaries, block. <laughs> Have a good one. You know, and just, I don't, I can't deal with it. Because I know I'm heading towards places that will be a distraction to me. If you coming over my boundaries, if I say certain and I'm very clear about my boundaries, then you do it again. That means you're not respecting me or my boundaries, so I have to let you go. And you have to be the certain same way about it, be the way, same way it is about your situation. You have to be able to set boundaries for things. You know, only thing you got an issue with if you deal with anybody narcissistic, they don't believe in boundaries. They'll go all around your boundaries. And still, with people like that, you have to be able to a block it off to a certain extent. So you keep doing you. You keep elevating. You drop the things in your life that is no longer serving you. Not allowing things where people, you know, say something and you're allowed, you know, don't get aggravated with them. And it's hard for us being in this, you know, a spiritual essence, being in human form, even though we're living a spiritual experience. You know, sometimes we take it personal when people lash out at us. You have to understand them folks don't even like seeing themselves in the mirror. So they can't love you if they don't love themselves. And it's very selfish for them to be able to push love in you when they can't love themselves. I'm like, baby, you need to love you. Why are you loving me? <laughs> so you got to keep doing you. So allow yourself to be able to part ways with the, the distractions while you're elevating. Because the devil wants you to get distracted. The devil wants you to lose focus on the things you're aiming towards. You cannot do that. This is a critical time and you cannot be doing that. So allow yourself to do what you need to do to elevate. As long as it's in a positive love and light. Whatever things you need to part with, allow yourself to part with love. You know, hey, you know, I'm no longer dealing with this. But I'm like, I, you know, I appreciate the fact that you being in my life like that. But I got to let you go. Much love to you. Peace. Bye. <laughs> so allow yourself to see what you got to see. Let go of what you no, no longer serves you. Shed them old faucets that are not even, you know, mirroring you anymore. And you're going to be getting your blessings and being grateful what the universe sends you. Even if they put a spotlight on people that you need to cut away from and still be grateful. You you know, if you pray for, you know, take anybody out of my life that's using me, talk bad about me, or hating on me in any kind of way. Don't be surprised when people just start <laughs> dropping out your life or are they even revealing to you the things that you don't need to have in your life so allow yourself to do that heal where you need to heal at let go of what you need to let go of and while you're letting go send it out with love and you would just be amazed what kind of blessings come flying in your life so like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line i would love the chance to hear from you i love the chance to hear your your positive feedback for that i would love to uh give a post notification now to uh elena carter uh, Trap Town and Amber G and Donald J. Much love to you. Like and subscribe. Even hit that bell. Drop me a line. Share. Give me a thumbs up also. And I'll see you on my next video. I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible for everything you do. And I hope you enjoy. Much love. Peace. Be wild.